Defaults are arrived at where an unchallenged practice habitually subscribed to becomes the norm. The other day I had an experience that woke me up to the fact that though we seem to expect the opposite by default, honesty does make all the difference. To make a long story short, I recently drove into a petrol station with my fuel gauge registering at bone dry red. My intention was to tank up before speeding off to work. My tank was filled and my car failed to move. I immediately raised an alarm. Within moments, a mechanic affiliated to the said station appeared and began to intervene. My shine your eye alert was triggered and as if by reflex, my voice went up several octaves as I insisted, don't touch my cow, I want to see the manager. Surely the mechanic and fuel dispensing official were in cahoots to scam on seemingly or seemingly unassuming customers like me. I was wrong though. In the end, the mechanic detected and openly declared water was in the oil that was just dispensed into my vehicle. My vehicle was drained of the offending substance, serviced and filled up again. My taxi cost to and from work was also covered, all on the house. Upon telling this to a colleague, he said it was the woman factor that swayed things. I disagree. It was the honesty factor. That same day, upon picking my daughter from school, she was keen to unburden herself of an experience at school where she found herself lying by default to cover up for an unpleasant situation she found herself in of her own doing, I hasten to add. Her conscience, Cyrene, had not stopped blaring since then, even though she has subsequently confessed. She was disappointed in herself. I, on the other hand, was inwardly proud of her. The fact that she was painfully aware of when she crossed a red line was a cause for thanksgiving. Like my fuel gauge that showed red, we need to be aware that our ability to know when we cross the honesty line is our one saving grace as a people. We must stay honest by default if we're to sow and reap the long-awaited dividends of democracy. Yes, you, not someone else. Well, well, well. Mm. Definitely, they helped you at the station because you're a woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, would it have been different if you were a man? No, there are some things that you don't do for men. <laughs> okay. You know, where, where cons men consider other men like, come on, this is life, go and shape up and Deal go and do it. something. Your car won't start, even if we did something to the car that messed you up and you're not aware. My friend, you are a man, go and uh, deal with it, deal with deal it with and it. settle yes. problems. That's what, what you are here. What about the mechanic that said it was water? He didn't I think have maybe, to say maybe, it was maybe, water. Maybe the man, definitely the woman factor played that. Uh, look, I played, 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 played. Yeah. Let's not, <laughs> they let's give you let's a... Not, let's not, let's not. I went after your car. Oh, yeah. There's not another side to the story. Don't say one side to But I also will consider the fact that that they could have, at the same time, just lied and yeah. said it wasn't our fault Yeah, as everybody well. else was driving um, out. But I think looking at you, come on, Ekene, I mean, you, you look, oh, I would say, well, I'm sorry. She <laughs> disarmed them. them. No, no, you disarmed them. <laughs> you disarmed them. <laughs> um, no. God, so, honesty so, 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 <laughs> so, but I, 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 look, what I tend to find um, these days is that we, we, we are, we're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. <laughs> And maybe because of all the pressures. So every time I find that island of honesty, it's just, so you know, refreshing. it's refreshing. And um, look, I have, I, I, when I go into certain situations, um, I think that they're about to cheat me. And so I'm prepared. I'm, I'm, uh, yes, I'm a defensive, <laughs> aggressively so, passive aggressive in some circumstances. I'm like, yeah, like don't you try you, you know, don't but, but don't even dare. <laughs> so, so this is good. Um, but is it a I mean, come on, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think so. <laughs> that, that, that's but what you, I think. you may not get away with that somewhere else. I mean, mm -hmm. they may just just insist that it's it got nothing to do with I mean, it. I was true, grateful true. for the fact no, that it I'm not yeah, saying you will definitely premises. always get away yeah. with it. Yeah. Look, there are instances where, you know, something's, there's trouble on the road, a lot of quarreling, and then you're like, what's happening there? And then some of them are like saying, you know, if it wasn't that that person was a woman, I will deal. I will. I would have shown my true colors. Meaning, I will fight back. Which is a good thing. Anyway. So yeah. So yeah. generally, people tend to move Rainy back team. when it's a woman, as if we don't need to give her that. You know, stress. Her life, where she has. You know, we believe that women have the stress of a different things, type, yeah. and we need to toughen up. Yeah, it's, it's a male-female thing. Part of my, trouble, my trouble is a lot of times people speak about Nigerians as if there's a default 
dishonesty. Mode. Yeah, you know, it's Nigeria. Everybody does it. You know, so you almost rein us into this whole culture of dishonesty by default. <laughs> and, you know, when you now say, no, I don't do that, you look like the old man out, or you look okay. like you're living in a little Even so naive. As, as Nigerians, yeah. we, see, we, we tend to see someone who's honest as, Huh? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, how do you survive? Which is just so disheartening. Because yeah. when we, we are good people. Yeah. I mean, remember the slogan, Sorry. good people, great nation. Mm. We are. But, yeah, I think maybe it's because a lot of us just want to survive. Mm. So out of wanting to survive, mm -hmm. people doctor the truth. And so you find a lot of people coloring the truth, mm. you know, trying to outsmart you by yeah, saying, ah, madam. Under your motto, under your motto. Yeah. <laughs> so they can do something and then, oh, blind me, how, you know? But yeah, we just have to keep talking yeah. and asking people. I, I think this, it, it aligns with the advocacy that I push the most, family, you know, it boils down to your family values. Okay. If we begin to advocate for, you know, good values in our homes from infant stage, eventually I think um, a chunk of our, you know, problem as a nation might be addressed. Uh, when you say home, Tall when you say home and family, uh, yes. I I quick at that in a, in a okay, well, curious please. way. Yeah. Because when we say family, what... What constitute a family? Yes, to start with. And then secondly, when do we really have time to be family in the Nigeria of today? In the Lagos of today? We Early in the morning, you're gone. You're back mm, late at night. True. The children are... Uh, being prepared for school, they're sleeping when you're mm, back. So, out all you know, so when do you even really have time teacher. to be with the people? Mm. You have to be intentional. Yeah, yeah. If it's that important to yes. you, you have to be intentional. Yeah. That's why I was actually, I enjoyed the drive with my daughter. We were coming, you know, it was like a two-hour drive. And the fact that she rushed to tell me, even on the phone the night before, she's like, there's something I want to tell you. And as soon as we're in the car together, she said that thing, she's not very talkative. So I really valued the fact that she was, what's this thing that's bothering you? And she told me the whole long story of how she lied and lied and lied. And then finally, when she couldn't hold it anymore, she <laughs> confessed to it. And they were also shocked that she could you know, so, lie. So, so I think the yeah. bottom line is, is creating a space for honesty mm. to, to try and to be rewarded and not to be criticized, Thank not you. to be put down. Yeah. If you create that safe space and reward system, and reward to say, look, the fact that you're honest, mm -hmm. um, it's it's okay. it, 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 it's okay. a safe space it's that just multiplies to... itself. I think that's what we need to create more. Right. Okay. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we all need to keep our conscience gauge alive and active, and of course, create that safe space for others to also do the same. <sighs> your one way we continue to do that, though, your f your frank feedback is much welcomed. On politics is a game of thugs, Ban Joshi says. Libra says we should go beyond the hashtag. There is need for us to stand up, leave our comfort zones, stand up for something and do something. Is this not what Shore did? <laughs> we hear you, Banjoshi. However, we continue to do what we can in the interest of a better society. On the same edition, A. Ak Abanti, Akbanti says, imagine 10 million naira monthly for ex-governors and ex-president. 90% of Nigeria's yearly budget is used to service our greedy leaders. Lazy youth, switch way. Akbanti, are you one of the lazy youths you're directing the question at? Nati Rebel is on, on the same matter and says, there's no democracy in Nigeria. What they have is do or die, a do or die affair. Vote buying, thuggery, and intimidation of the opposition parties by the government agents. It's quite unfortunate that Nigeria is decaying from inside. I know he says a lot more. Nati Rebel, you and I must rebel against the decay and play our part in advocating for a better society. Uh, George V. Emmanuel expands on a statement on primary health care. He says, in addition to what Vicky said on primary health care, it is not necessarily that it is in rural areas. Primary health care is the first approach to any individual, family, or community to address comprehensive and interrelated physical, mental, and social health well-being, according to WHO. Thank you for that, George. I hope you watched Dr. Rukewe's advocacy on this recently. She did very comprehensive advocacy. So do keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Seydu directs our conscience towards the societal effects of single parenting. 